Hello Vlogineers, today we're going to unbox and review Unmatched Marvel Hell's Kitchen. This game features Daredevil, Electra, and Bullseye. And it is from Restoration Games and Mondo Games. This is for ages 14 and up, for 2 to 3 players, and it takes 20 to 40 minutes to play. Unmatched is my favorite series of games. And this is the first Unmatched set that has three characters. Some have one, some have two, and some have four. There's another Marvel set with three characters called Redemption Row. And it has Luke Cage, Moon Knight, and Ghost Rider. And these are not the first Marvel sets. The first one was Dead. And the contents are three characters, four sidekick tokens, three health dials, 76 cards, three scheme tokens, three combat tokens, one game board inst and instructions. And also on the back, there's short summaries of each character if you didn't know much about them. Now let's open. We did it. Here's the rule book. It's actually a pretty nice rule book. And inside, they teach you how to play the game if you didn't know how to play. And plus, each set sometimes has additional rules that are inside the rule book as well. Here are the help dials. And, oh, and next to the health dials is, they also have an image of the characters. And also they tell you how to assemble them if you didn't know. On the bottom, uh, there's tokens that belong to the map. Sometimes in these sets, there are special things that go along with the map. And in this one, is these are these tokens. And there's three combat tokens and then three scheme tokens, which on the back of each scheme token tells you the effect. Oh, they store the figures and stuff differently. Usually the figures are on top and the cards are on the bottom. Okay, here is the map. It looks like a construction zone, but it's called Hell's Kitchen, of course. And as you can see, these purple and yellow spots are where you put the tokens. And then on the back, they start doing this. Uh, they make circles. It's the same, but except you can look at the artwork a bit better. Here, let's start with, this is uh, Daredevil. Does he just have sticks? Is that his weapon? I haven't watched any Marvel, so I don't know what weapons these are. Uh, these just look like sticks. I don't know. Next one is Bullseye. Uh, I'm guessing he never misses or something like that by the name of Bullseye. And in his hand looks like some playing cards or something like that. And then here's Electra. And I don't know what Electra does. So I, the, she's the first one that I know what weapons these are. These are daggers. And then Electra in this set is the only one with sidekicks. And the sidekicks are called the hand. And uh, the hands have four. They have, there's four copies of the hand. And this is gonna be the second fighter ever to have four uh, one health sidekicks. The first one was Robin. This is the hand. Again, I, I know nothing about these characters. Uh, so, I don't know what the hand is. Next, there are dot, dial thingies. These, you can assemble the dials. Now for the cards. We're gonna look at their doubles cards first. And, all, and on the back of the cards, they always have these, uh, some cool artwork. To represent the cards. Now for Daredevil, his deck does seem smaller than others. This is a Bullseye's deck, and this is Daredevil's. 
Now, I'm pretty sure, but Daredevil is all about attacking. So I'm guessing, uh, how many defenses? This does not feel like 30 cards. Oh, wait, no, it's the same as Electra's, though. Wait, what? Wait, maybe Bullseye has more cards than anything. So Daredevil has 17 health and is melee. So he can move three and his powers during combat. If you have two or fewer cards in your hand, you may blind boost your attack or defense. He should have more cards. Why did they put more cards in Bullseye stack than Daredevil? Daredevil will just keep blind boosting probably. And he has 17 health. The first card that I want to point out is called Man Without Fear. Two attack, but it says during combat you might you may blind boost this attack. Plus, you can also add the additional blind boost from your power. And also, by the way, Daredevil's blind. I was informed that. That's why he blind boosts, because he's blind. I wonder if Daredevil can get dead by Medusa. Here's a defense card, a three value, and it's called Son of a Boxer. After combat, if you lost combat, deal two damage to a fighter adjacent to Daredevil. That's actually a pretty good power. This doesn't feel like 30 cards, so I'm going to count them. This will be quick. 22 cards. I, I told you, it's... It's smaller than a deck. It has 22 cards. So this probably has 30 cards. This is a 30 card. And that means Electra has 22 cards. So that means you'll run through your deck faster since you'll keep blind boosting. That's bad for Daredevil. But anyway, something that does help Daredevil is called, this is a scheme card called Breather, and it's choose an attack or defense or versatile from your discard pile and return it to your hand. So that's good. And there's three copies of that. And there's three copies of this, meaning that you technically now have 26 cards. And here is a versatile that's very good. It's called Take a Knee. Three versatiles. And it, its effect is after combat, discard the top card of your deck. Recover health equal to its boost value. And what versatiles do is you can attack or defend with them. Next, Bullseye. Bullseye is ranged with 14 health and can move 2. And his power is Bullseye can attack from up to 5 spaces away, ignoring zones. This one's an interesting one. World's Greatest Assassin. 4 value attack. Immediately, if you already won co a combat this turn, ignore the value of your opponent's card. Wait. Oh, okay, that's good. That's so good. Wait. If you already won a combat this turn, so that means if you attack before and you already won that one, then you already get the effect of this. Yeah. But that's a really good card. And, yeah. It, the, the picture isn't that scary. So, I'm seeing a lot of cards in bullseye stack that if you really want to combat that turn you get a special effect so i'm guessing he's all about winning combats so far i see one scheme yeah he only has one type of scheme and that one type of scheme is called study the target uh you draw two cards if you want to combat this turn draw one additional card and gain an action that's that's a pretty good effect, but yet, it's all about winning combat for Bullseye. Here's a defense card called Tactical Retreat. Three value uh, defense, and it's after combat, place Bullseye in a space that shares no zones with his current space. So you just get it right away. That's good of power. Here's a versatile card, and it's two value, and it is called arrogant but effective after combat you are considered to have won this combat move bullseye up to two spaces oh that's good because that means you are considered to win the combat so if your opponent has uh 
has uh, effects that resolve if they want to combat you. It's basically like a cancel effect if they do have one of those. So overall, I think Bullseye's more OP than Daredevil so far. But his cards are a bit scary though. And here's Electra's. Now Electra is very uh interesting. And she actually has two player cards. There's a Electra and an Electra Resurrected. The normal Electra has seven health and is melee. Uh and can move two and her sidekicks are the hand, which she has four copies of, and they each have one health. Her power is, the first time Electra will be defeated, remove her and all hands from the board. She's not defeated. At the start of your next turn, resurrect her. And also, when she gets resurrected, you move on to the next uh, card, which is Electra Resurrect. She is still melee with nine health, uh, the hand sidekicks are the same. She still moves too, but her power is different. When Electra resurrects, flip your health dial, shuffle your discard pile into your deck. So you just get to refill all your cards. Place Electra and all hands back onto the board with each fighter in a different zone. So they have to spread out, but that's still good. And also, I didn't read this, but when you're a normal Electra, the there's a symbol with a red hand. When you're a normal Electra, you don't have to resolve the effects with the hand, but when you're Electra resurrected, you have to resolve the hand symbol thingies. They're on cards. So I'm guessing the hand symbol effects are bad. So let's see. And never mind, never mind, they're good, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're they're good. They're actually good for you. Here's a, a attack. Six value attack called Mystic Assassin. Electra takes three damage after combat. <clears throat> no, after combat, Electra takes three damage. But if you have the hand symbol, Electra takes no damage instead. So yeah, the hand symbol is good. Here's a uh, one value defense called Snake Rook Clan for Electra, and and it says immediately Electra may swap spaces with the hand. If she does, the hand is now the defender. The card the the card image looks a bit creepy, though. or it does look weird. Not creepy, but just weird. Here is a versatile for Electra called Cloaked in Shadow. Immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. After combat, move Electra up to three spaces if you have the hand symbol. Here's the scheme card. She only has one type of scheme card in her deck and it's called Mesmerize. Choose an opponent and look at their hand. Game one action. But if you have the hand symbol, choose one card for them to discard. And here is a card for the hand. It's an attack for the hand only, and it's called the fist. After combat, you may deal one damage to your attacking fighter. If you do, return this card to your hand and gain an action. So it's kind of like you get to do three damage, but then if you want, you can sacrifice it to gain an action. So, it's an interesting card. There's two copies of it. Electra seems to be the most tactical because I think when you're normal Electra, before you become Electra Resurrected, you want to use the most cards with Electra as you can. That way you can get all of them back. That's also one way that you can exhaust your opponent. There are many strategies with Electra. We're going to do two live streams and come back with our final thoughts. And we're back. We did two live streams of Unmatch Hell's Kitchen. And now we're going to do final thoughts. Overall, this set is pretty good. It is better than some other sets. I like the new board tokens. How there are some schemes and combat tokens. And also, you could also mix and match them 
with other Marvel sets because all the Marvel sets that are coming out have the little tokens that go on the map. My favorite character from this set is probably Daredevil because there's this card called The Devil of Hell's Kitchen, which if that was the last card in your deck, it's an eight. And after combat, you gotta put that card and the top four cards of your discard pile back into your deck and then you get shuffled which is really powerful because then you basically have infinite cards. My least favorite is Bullseye because if your opponent can move like three or is also ranged, they're basically dead. And if they have sidekicks, that's even worse because if they corner you and they get you trapped, it's basically over because you can't really run away. Electra is also very cool how uh, you get a resurrect Electra and then you get to have special effects and all that other stuff. Overall, I rate this a match set an 8 out of 10. But I'm looking forward to Redemption Row, which is the other unmatched Marvel set that just came out. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye!